Good morning, everyone, on this beautiful Friday, the 20th day of June 2014. This is the day, a beautiful, wonderful day. What the Lord has made, let's rejoice today and be exceedingly glad in it. Don't allow, don't allow Satan to steal your joy. Satan has a variety of power tools that he uses to steal your happiness and to steal your joy. That's what I want to talk to you about this morning. So gather around and pull up a chair. I'm out here on the lake, on the water, right close to home. I'm surrounded by all of God's beauty and his splendor. Listen in the background as I speak and as I preach to you this morning. And you can hear the birds singing. Beautiful song this morning. Let's go to announcements quickly. Uh, I'm out and about early this morning. I'm working uh, our ministry. Our ministry has been just so immensely blessed. Yahweh's pouring out his blessing upon our ministry. And I will be in Flint uh, and Grand Blanc today. So I'm getting an early, early start. Acknowledgements is where I would acknowledge those that have given so generously to our ministry, our inner city outreach and intervention to the homeless. For Thursday, the 19th of June, yesterday, we had nothing that had come in to the ministry. But I am still praising the living God. I am giving Yahweh all honor, praise, and glory. You know, Satan uses a variety of power tools to destroy your happiness, to steal your joy. I want to talk to you this morning about resentment. Now, holding on to resentment so often... We pray for someone we love to change. And God hears our prayer, and he does a work in that person. But we can't forget the past or how that person used to be. We hang on, we cling on to that resentment. If we are born again, saved, born again, new creations, in Christ why must we live in the past why can't we let go of the old and be joyful in the new but so often we hold on to resentment and unforgiveness now being a pastor and ministering to so many uh, a lot of times families and couples I have one lady I want to share this with you and she was very upset and I said sister what is wrong well for three years three years my husband did not work and I had to do everything on my own to try to pay the bills and I said sister didn't you pray for God to work a miracle and to provide him with work and hasn't he been working for the past four or five years now oh yes yes he's working he's been working for the past five years so sister what's the problem but for three years in the past, I had to do everything myself and he didn't work. So you're holding on to resentment and unforgiveness. You can't let go of the past. That's what we've got to do. We've got to let go of the past. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to come to this earth in the flesh to be crucified on that cross so we could be forgiven of all our sins all our sins went to that cross what if god what if yahweh held on to unforgiveness and resentment we've got to let go of the past and of resentment and holding on to unforgiveness could you even imagine if yahweh just held on to things that we did in our past we pray for change and he in his time he'll answer our prayer and what do we do instead of thanking him we can't come out of the past we can't forget how that one person was another example and there was a woman whose husband was very jealous Everywhere she went, she, he accused her of looking at another fella, another man. Uh, she couldn't go anywhere without him wondering 
if she was looking at someone else who's very, very jealous. And she prayed for God to deliver him of the spirit of jealousy. And God did. But today, she holds on. She can't forget how that person used to be before God worked a miracle and changed that person. That's how Satan will steal your joy. Resentment is one of his tools to steal your joy and to steal your happiness. So today, these people that hold on to resentment and unforgiveness, you've allowed Satan to steal your joy because now you're not happy. You're dwelling in the past. You're not happy. You can't enjoy this new person, this change that God had made in this person for you because you prayed. Now instead of being happy and enjoying, you've got the person. It took time. Maybe God had to do a work in that person. But you won't allow joy in because all you can think about is the person that that person used to be. But the person now has been set free, is born again, born again, a new creation in Yeshua. But you can't see past that veil of darkness, of resentment. Let it go, brothers and sisters. Don't let Satan use resentment to steal your joy. I love you all very much. God bless you today.